So first of all, just uh, two things. Congratulations to Wisconsin on the victory. And uh, secondly, I just want to thank our fans. I thought the uh, stadium, we know it would be pretty electric when we got in there. It certainly was. And uh, it was a, an outstanding football game from our perspective for at least 50 minutes. But, uh, you know, we just uh, we couldn't finish the game. They did a heck of a job of doing that. But they're a very good football team. I thought our guys competed hard, played hard. Uh, theirs did, obviously, and, uh, as well. And um, you know, bottom line is we just didn't play well enough to get the victory. And you know, some things that, that happened early in the ball game really uh, came back to, to make it tough for us in that fourth quarter. Maybe the first quarter you had a chance to really <coughs> we, we did. We had a pretty good field position. We had uh, the one behind us and ended up with three points. I think really if I, I look at the first half, um, you know, it came down to us being in the red zone twice. Not being able to come out with a touchdown, we had a couple self-inflicted wounds on both both uh, possessions. Uh, and then the, the flip side is we gave up the one drive, and uh, to their credit, they had uh, hit two good runs on us and then a big pass. So, uh, but looking back, you know they're, they're going to make some plays. I mean, these guys have been scoring a lot of points, uh, moving the ball, and when we had that opportunity to be down in there and come come uh, come away with that touchdowns to come up short, really, that was a big factor in the game, certainly. Two-part question here: What happened to Jake there after that interception, and how do you feel CJ was able to handle being thrown into the fire? Uh, I think CJ did a fine job. You know, it's a tough situation to go into. Uh, you know, we're, we're we're not in a desperation mode, but a pretty mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, it's a pretty tough uphill climb at that point. And playing against an excellent defensive football team, so it's a tough way to go. But uh, he's been practicing well. You know, I thought he did a good job out there, uh, given the circumstances. Uh, Jake, you know, uh, got twisted around a little bit there, so he's got a sprain, and just it didn't seem like a good idea to put him back in. Uh, he couldn't have gone right away, but he uh, could have gone back in later on. It just didn't seem, it seemed smart to put him back mm -hmm. at that point. Where, if, if you're pinpointing anything offensively that would help you guys a little more, you know, in those situations in Wisconsin territory, is it on the ground? Is it through the air? What well, do you identify there? You know, it's tough to run the ball today for us, and uh, it was really tough for them, too, for about, you know, 45, 50 minutes. So it's just, you know, it's going to happen sometimes. Defense is, uh, there's still some people playing defense, and, and both teams are playing really good defense uh, for 50 minutes today. So, you know, I mean, obviously I'd like to have run the ball better. I wish we could have and would have been more productive, uh, but they made it tough on us. But I think, you know, the big thing is just, uh, you know, when you play a team like that, they're an excellent football team. You get that opportunity down in there. We had a drop that you never know what's going to happen, but it doesn't help you. And then we had a couple penalties on the other, uh, the other possession. And, so, you know, when you, you play a, a team that's very tough and uh, makes it tough on you, if you make it tough on yourself, it's just not a, not a good thing. And that, that's part of the lesson we're going to have to learn if we're going to, you know, push it up here, over the top here. On the last play of the first quarter, you had the wind at your back really strong. Maybe you had the ball for 34, and you rushed out your punt team to, to punt at that point. Was there any thought to kick in a field goal? It had been about 51 yards from no, the line. Not, not really. I mean, the, the percentages weren't, weren't great there, so no, not really. Uh, really, our thought process, we were playing pretty good field position at that point, the way the game was going. Uh, if we could give them a real short field, or a long field, excuse me, I thought that was our best best deal. But yeah, you can go back and look at that one and flip the line, I guess. With Kanzari, is it possible for him now to become more of a focal point for your offense going forward? Yeah, you know, just uh, he's been practicing well, as I've said. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, you know, I'm going back to last fall, even though he's coming off an injury, uh, certainly in the spring and summer. It's hard to get four backs in the game. It's just mm -hmm. really hard. You know, maybe some people are doing it. I'm not sure who they are, but uh, uh, Mark was nicked up today. Couldn't finish the game, and uh, you know, so it, uh, the other thought there was just maybe you know give Jordan a, a chance to give us a spark, which he did. He made a really nice run, and you know, hopefully we can get him integrated. But it's, it's tough when you got four guys. I know the score got a little big at the end, but it seems like the defense played well enough for you guys to win this game. Do you kind of feel the same way? Well, I mean, they didn't because uh, you know would have taken a Got a hold of the five there, you know, when we had six. So, but they, they played well. They really played well. That's what I was referring to a minute ago. I think for it seemed like about 50 minutes that we were really playing the way you want to. Uh, we did give up the one drive in, in that first half. But you know, you play a team like that, they're they're going to get some too. They're they're a good football team. But uh, yeah, I thought we were competing hard, uh, playing against a really team that's got gaudy statistics in terms of yardage, points per game. Yeah, and we were competing very well with them. And uh, so again, I don't think we're that far away. It's hardly a hopeless case here, but uh, uh, we just still have to finish the game on defense. And then again, I go back to the offensive part of things. We uh, 
if you're going to play in teams like like that, you're going to have to when you get down in there, you got to come come away with some points. You know, field goals are better than nothing, but they're not they're not going to win for you in a game like this. What are the biggest offensive hurdles to climb to get to the point where you can score points in the second half? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Yeah, you know, we, we weren't exactly ringing them up there in the first half either. So today, one is you know one of those deals as much. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of fixated on the two times we're down in that first half. You know, we just didn't we weren't detailed enough to, to get it done. And uh, you know, it was, they made it tough on us. They're a good defensive football team. Was part of the game plan to get the tight ends involved in the receiving game, but Wisconsin just wasn't letting it happen. Well, that's part of our plan every week. To their credit, they, they did a good job. Yeah, they, made it, they made it hard for us. We, we were not moving the ball consistently. Uh, we were really throwing or running with great proficiency. And that's a credit for them. You know, that's, there's been a lot of talk about their offense uh, coming into the game. You know, I looked at their defensive stats, and, you, and more importantly, you watch your tape. And it's not like people are getting a lot of points off these guys. They're, they're a good defensive football team. And, uh, they, Utah State was a good defensive team a year ago. You know, Watching them against Wisconsin, uh, they held Wisconsin 16 last year. So, I mean, it's, you know, take, take a good coaching staff and good players. That's what happens. Jake, by his standards, probably, which is a compliment to him, how well he's played all year, probably a little you know, below where he's been in some games before he got hurt. Did you see anything different out of him? I know he was off the back. I, I just thought I'm not sure we helped him enough. You know, it's, it's, it's better if you can get the running game going, certainly. And, and our protection could have been better, too, I'm sure. So, it's, you know, it's, uh, offense is such a team thing, typically. You know, unless you just got one guy can run around, or you know, you throw it up and have one guy just catches it, you know, like circus catches. But you know, there are many of those players out there, so it's usually a team thing, and that's that's something we'll just continue to work at.